Hi guys, today I'm upgrading FXGL's um, CI to GitHub Actions. So I thought this could be useful for you to see what kind of um, CI functionality is available um, just built in. So GitHub Actions have been um, functioning for a while. They're pretty good actually at this point. They've got really nice things uh, already built in. And what I'd like to do is to migrate from Travis, which has currently um, too many things to do. So it already builds tests and then deploys the um, latest commit. So users can immediately get their uh, latest version tested. And it also does um, testing using um, different JDKs. So what I'd like to do is to have latest stable JDK, which is currently 15, use that um, with Windows, Mac, and Linux. And Christian has kindly sent me his um, build file for GitHub Actions. So I'm going to try and use that and adapt it to work with um, FXGL. So the very first thing you do is you go to your repository and you go to actions and then you're able to create a new workflow but I already have one so I'm going to just copy and paste some stuff. This workflow file which is .yml it goes into uh, .github and then workflows. It needs to live here so that github knows where to look for it. Let's create <clears throat> um, latest JDK YML. So I've got this thing which I need to rename because um, this only does code coverage. It tests it, but then it sends it to CodeConf so that it um, so I can see which lines have been covered by um, unit tests and this thing is going to test fxgl on mac um, mac windows and linux using latest jdk latest stable jdk i suppose so let's change this to 15. I don't know what strategy does. But I'm going to just keep this as is. So I need to check out code, set up JDK, which is what this thing does. Um, build projects. Okay, that's something that I don't need because I'll be using this thing. So this is your standard one, more or less. Um, in fact, yeah, that is standard. I've just added this, which is which caches all the dependencies from Maven. You should probably want that as well. So it doesn't have to download all the um, dependencies every time it builds. Build and test with Maven. Yep, that's what we need to do over here. What custom runtime image? Okay, we don't need that. Um, skip signing and then skip generation of Java doc, which is fine. So, um, branches dev and then pull request. Yes, I do want that. So, I want basically all of this. Uh, build 
JDK. Yep, that looks fine. Use Ubuntu, Mac OS, and Windows. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it basically does this, but it does it on 15 and on three OSs, whereas this one is just so we can get code coverage. Right, let's try this. Uh, and if this works, then I can then get rid of some of the Travis CI stuff. Uh, that one. Add it. GitHub actions CI for latest stable JDK. Yeah, let's go over that. So that should now trigger um, another action. And there we go. You can see all your wor workflows uh, under here. This one is the existing one, and this one is the new one. So this will run in its own sort of uh, job, and then this thing will run separately. Nice. Because usually when you're uh, making your sort of project, you test against the baseline, which is your minimum JDK that you support, uh, which is 11 for FXGL. And then you go to uh, latest stable version, which is currently 15. Um, and then you test against uh, early access version, which is currently 16. And that way you're kind of covering most of your bases, I suppose. The minimum, uh, latest stable, and then maximum. And then you can easily detect various issues if they crop up, especially uh, with things like early access. Because JDK stuff sometimes gets uh, changed. Right, so this will take a while. How long does it normally take? About four minutes? Okay. Let's have a look at the CI, uh, Travis CI stuff for now. So currently, no, that's not that. Currently, what does it do? So here's YML for Travis. Currently it runs a lot of things and it does it on these JDKs. So I want to just build it on 11 and then deploy. I don't need these ones anymore. I need to figure out where to add um, early access version because it's kind of important to test against it as well but I don't want it here. Cache, run on this thing. Um, yep, that's fine. On deploy, this condition is no longer needed because it's always going to be JDK 11 from now on. And then eventually, I'm going to migrate this thing as well. Um, to get how actions, but for now, let's keep it there since it's going to work anyway. Yeah, that should simplify Travis. Meanwhile, I can go through some of the stuff that I've been working on. Um, so here is the Christmas demo um, that I ran, which had some 3D stuff in it. it may have changed some things, but should still work.
There we go. The key is, yeah, I've been playing around with various features. So currently in 3D, collision detection uh, works on a basic level. It is a 3D bounding box. So essentially the lightweight physics um, was converted to 3D. Then we've got, right, so I need to do something with this. Yeah, so you can see that we can load pretty much um, any OBJ model using FXYZ. And it's pretty good because eventually once it does get integrated, um, you'll be able to just say where the model is located and without doing anything else, um, it should just load it into the game and then you can play around with it. Okay, something's built. Nice. Uh, let's have a look. Yep, give me some info. Uh, okay, this is the old one. Where's the new one? This one. Okay, cool. So I can see each development platform. That is nice. And it's using JDK 15. All good. And then Windows is still doing something. Fine. Um, yeah, I can live with that. Uh, I can live with that because it will test against the late, uh, latest stable one. And this one is the sort of the fast one, which is what I can use to detect if there are any issues with um, the latest commit. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So this is not essentially a tutorial, but uh, hopefully this shows you how you can add some things. It's not very difficult. You just go to GitHub Actions and then you create new workflow. Just click on that and you will get this um, these options that you can select from. And then if you click on one of them, it will, for example, this one, already provide um, a lot of the stuff for you, which you can just run without it making any changes. And then as you read through um, the lines, you can see which uh, things you can configure and then you can set to a different JDK and um, cache with Maven and so on all the common things that you want to do okay uh, that's it for today I think that's all running and this one's done as well nice all right thanks for watching I'll see you guys later